What's going on YouTube? We are back with another video and today I'm gonna to be doing an oil change on the Cessna 172 project that I've been working on. This is the first oil change since its initial break-in engine run. So we're gonna be looking for metal and some other stuff like that. I do also have some big announcements. One of the owners has sold his half. I'll show you what he bought here in just a minute. As well as there's some work going on the velocity that I'm filming, but you're gonna to have to wait for that. However, the title of this video was, how much does this project cost? So while I work on it, I'll get into that. So first things first, let's get the old oil out. And while that drains, I do have some squawks and things that I need to look at. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is activate the Hobbs meters on it, which I don't know if you can see, but the Hobbs meters are right there. And I'm activating those because for the first 25 hours of flight, it wasn't being used for hire. It was just the owners breaking everything in. But now that it's broken in, they're going to be renting out this aircraft. So we need a Hobbs meter in it for time so they can build them. And they're also going to run a maintenance Hobbs to track the maintenance on the engine because they're not sure how accurate the tack is with how old it is. So I'm gonna cut those. Let's talk about the airplane as a whole. I believe the owners purchased it for somewhere around $40,000 three to four years ago and have been using it for flight training. They took it down to overhaul the engine because it was running really, really bad and burning more and more oil and leaking more and more oil. And that's kind of what started this whole overhaul procedure. The largest cost of this build was the engine, at least in my opinion. The engine was done by Airmark Overhaul. The original engine that was in the aircraft, the crankshaft, the crankshaft and the case were worn beyond their serviceable limit. So this is actually not a brand new engine, but this is a serviceable engine from Airmark Overhaul and it was $45,000. The next large cost or the second big thing during this total overhaul was this interior. And if you've been watching the videos, you've seen this interior before. It was done uh, by a private company and the interior was a whopping $16,000. This was actually done before any of this major overhaul. This was done shortly after the owners bought the airplane and before the rebuild was this Garmin 750 radio and the autopilot. Now this enabled them to put a, uh, or sorry, this enabled them to make the aircraft IFR and have ADS-B in and out and look for traffic and all kinds of other awesome features. And this is a great radio, but the cost of that installation total was about $60,000. The oil is finally out, which means I can get this quick drain closed and get the screen out of it. But that brings me to my next cost, which was the paint job. Obviously the owner did repaint this aircraft himself. So he stripped it himself. He painted himself. He bought the equipment to paint it himself and did all of that work himself. Now, Without putting a number on it, it's kind of hard because he had to buy an air compressor. He had to buy a refrigerated dryer. He had to buy a lot of things that were very expensive. So if we just looked at the, at the cost of materials, just the materials, just the paint, and getting it sprayed, I would say was somewhere between five and $10,000. <clears> so our next biggest cost for the Cessna would have been all of the miscellaneous things, the Stein aviation, you know, wingtips, the Quasar wingtips, all of the other little pieces, the windows, the windows were about $5,000. All of the other stuff, you know, the Quasar wingtips were about $1,200. I don't know how much the Airwolf air oil separator was, but you know, that cost money. So a lot of things, obviously, as you can imagine, uh, cost a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there. So rather than itemize each one of those things, I sort of just estimated all of it and the estimate for all of that stuff comes out to about fifteen thousand dollars on the high side that's very much on the high side and then my labor all in all the owners have got about a hundred and eighty thousand dollars in this 172 which seems like a lot but i will say there are a couple things about this 182 that are different than say your average 182. one it is going to be a rental aircraft for the purpose of renting and making money. So it will make some of that money back. Number two, it is also eligible to be a T-41 since it is a 66 Cessna 172H, which if the owners stick to plan is sort of what they want to do to it eventually. After this engine is timed out, it should have made enough money to pay for the T-41 STC, which is a 225 horsepower um, 
IO360, or it might be a 200 horsepower IO360, I don't remember exactly, um, with a constant speed propeller, which would make this airplane uh, awesome. So there you go, that's how much the aircraft has cost. Uh, I'm going to finish up this oil change and looking at one or two small discrepancies. I realize this video wasn't super thorough, but I don't really like the cost videos where people just break down every single little thing and talk about how much every single little thing was. So my next plan for this Cessna, as far as videos go, is I want to do one more really good video on it, which is building a Cessna 172 in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So if you want to see that video, leave a comment. Tell me, yeah, I'd love to see that video. I gotta go back and download all of my old videos because I can't really save them on the iPad. It doesn't have enough uh, space, so I'm gonna have to do that on my son's computer. Um, but I'd like to make one of those building assessment videos in, in 10 minutes and turn it into a montage to some music, something like that. So as always, leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, and I'll show you what Lyle bought. Be easy. Okay, everybody, so this is my buddy Lyle. Lyle, I should say now, was the owner of the 172 yep. project he has sold his half he's the one who actually did all the work stripping it apart painting it all of that all that heavy lifting and then all i did was put it back together but he has sold his half to the other partner fred and he has bought this absolute beauty yep indeed tell him what it is lyle that is a 1986 mooney uh 305 rocket uh as you can see 252 that was the k model and Rocket Engineering put a 305 horsepower uh, TSIO 520 NB17 engine in it. Uh, anyway, lots of power. Uh, it does not want to slow down. Uh, you can achieve uh, with, if you don't mind turning uh, dinosaurs into uh, air uh, by burning gas, uh, you can achieve 225 knots uh, way up in the flight levels. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can get going pretty dang fast. It does not want to slow down. Uh, so we have some nice speed brakes here that at least help you not uh, do anything terrible. But, Unfortunately, uh, so yeah, he's right. taking it back to Arizona with him. So it will not be in my life very often, other than when he comes to Texas to visit. But and to bring it to you for an annual. <laughs> for an oh well, thank you for that. I am looking forward to working on this one. I love Mooney rockets. They're one of my one of my favorite Moonies. Moonies are my favorite aircraft, but this is one of my favorite Moonies, so I'm definitely excited for Lyle. I wanted to throw this in at the end of one of my videos for y'all to get a look at this. Um, more to come. Oh, perfect. Okay. I like those heavy.